everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel. That is the R in the RK Stumbling Bear, and I am a reader and a writer. Today I am here to go over my November TBR. I didn't get a lot read this month, but then I wasn't planning on to read as much since I know it takes me longer to read nonfiction. And in fact, I only finished one nonfiction this month, and it wasn't any of the ones that I thought I was going to read. But why am I beating around the bush? Let's just go for it. In the month of November, I finished five books. The first one was Call of the Bone Ships by R.J. Barker. This is the second in his Bone Ships series, and this is a hype fantasy on the seas, on the ocean, and it's amazing. It has dragons and a matriarchal society. If you have not picked up this series, why not? Seriously, this series needs way more love. Since it's the second in the book, or, well, this is number two in the trilogy, and it picks up about half a year to a year after the first one ends, and you can see that how things have been changing, different progresses have been going on. But Barker is not nice to his characters. They go through trials and tribulations, and as soon as you are feeling like you love a character, he kills one off. Characters are not safe in this book, and I am really looking forward to reading the third one as soon as it gets to me. And I gave this book five stars. Like I said, I am loving this series, and I think everyone else should too. The second book I finished in the month of November is Listen, Learn, and Love, and this was one of the books for my in-person book club. Um, this is written by Richard Osler. This is specifically how to love and embrace the fellow members who are LGBTQ. The church I attend has had a very rocky history with this group just because members are bullish and idiots. This book really gave a lot of the history of the actions and highlighted what current policy is. But more than that, it took from members who actually are LGBTQ and their parents and used their words to go over false assumptions and ideas of how we can make our fellow brothers and sisters feel more welcome. I did not rate this on Goodreads, I just marked it as I had read it, because this is still percolating in my brain. I know there were a couple other books that were also options to read for this month, because my book club wanted to talk about the topic more than anything else. From a Christian standpoint, this is a great book to read. He highlights Christian scripture, especially using examples of Jesus Christ and how Jesus Christ doesn't let anybody slip through. The third thing I read in the month of November is The Inaccessibility of Heaven by Aliette de Baudard. I believe this is a novelette, and it was actually nominated for the Hugos. And this was interesting. Uh, the premise of this is there have been some rebellious angels, and they have fallen from their magnificent city above, and they are all dealing with it differently. Some have turned into gang lords, others are trying to atone for their sins, and murders start happening. And a human who is adjacent to them is asked to come in to investigate, and it ends up she was brought in to bring the, a fallen that she associates with in except she's not willing to let it go. After they're like, oh, okay, thank you, you can go on your way. And her and another human continue to investigate. This is kind of like a, I would say like a paranormal fantasy, since you have angels, you have magic, and set in an urban setting. And I think this is proof that I like Baudard's writing, because I gave it a four. It wasn't perfect for me, but it was compelling. The thing that I had the most trouble with was the atmosphere. I, I got the sense they were in an urban setting, but it felt like it was still pretty nebulous. It was more like, I don't know how to explain this. It was more like here, then the setting, get a little bit of the environment, and then 
all of a sudden they're over here in this setting. And so I don't feel like the city got to shine through in this story. And I think if it had, it would have given a bigger impact to what was going on. But you know, that's me. Then I read The Truth of Valor by Tanya Huff. This is number five in her Confederation series, as we're following Torin Kerr, who has now retired from the military. I can't talk a lot about it because this story builds upon what happens, but it, it does involve space pirates, and that was an interesting twist. It's really getting to flesh out this confederation instead of just being in the military. Now we're getting to see more aspects of it in the different planets and aliens. And then the fifth thing I finished was An Ancient Peace, also by Tanya Huff. This is the first book in her Peacekeeper series, which is directly, which is directly related to her Confederation series. It picks up a few years later, but the events of what happened in The Truth of Valor are, have set up what the current setting is, is, is in an ancient peace. And this isn't a spoiler. So the reason why humans, the Taken and the Cry are all in the military and nobody else is because the elder races, as they are called, were once militaristic and have put all of that aside. But when an alien threat came through that was not willing to put things aside, they had to enlist some less civilized people to fight since they still had that instinct. And this is directly related to a group of aliens who, from the elder races, who instead of destroying their weapons of war, they buried them and then had their home system appear as, and then had their home system disappear from the records. But somebody has found it. Then comes Torn Kerr and her crew. I am having a blast with this series. I believe I gave both of these five stars. Yep, I gave both of them five stars. I, I was hearing the discussion the other day that as you move forward in a series you like, the books tend to get rated higher. One, because you already love the characters. But I think that these actually deserve these five star ratings because Kerr is actually making each story different. It's not a rinse repeat of what happened before and you're just radiant on nostalgia. You have a different plot that connects to the plot before, but it's different and it's a different story sequence, which is very refreshing to see in a longer series. And I believe that's why you have the first five books in the Confederation series. And then now you have the next three in the trilogy of the Peacekeeper series, which sometimes get added on to the Confederation series as well but you can see that there has been a change and evolution. For the first few books, Torin Kerr didn't change that much. This is who she was. And then for the last books in the Confederation series, you were seeing that she is having to change because she has gained more knowledge. And I think that Huff is doing a great balance. And I'm very sorry that I didn't get to read this when they were all actually coming out and instead of reading them years after. If any of you have read this series, please, I would love to talk more about it. I would love to talk with you more about any of the books that I have read. I might not have read a lot, but what I did read was good. This this was a good reading month. What was your favorite book of November? Because I need to add more books to my TBR, obviously. Thank you, and have a good day.